For mean of a frequency distribution or weighted mean, you see that the formulas have little changes from finding just the population or sample mean. Here, instead of just adding up data, we have to account for repeats, like here, or we have to account for weights. So with repeats, what we'll have is essentially a subtotal, and you can see that down here. So we count, you know, add up all of the ones, there's two ones, there's four twos, there's nine threes, 12 fours, add all those up, or just use multiplication to find your subtotals, and then add up your subtotals, like you see here, and divide by the grand total. For the weighted mean, it's not really subtotals, what we're doing is we're applying a weight to each um, each group, each total of each group. So um, it's a little bit different to actually think about, but the process is the same. Now, if we look at the homework, the first problem gives us um, repeated measurements that are just whole numbers, um, just discrete um, scores here. We may have a potential for decimals, but we're only seeing whole numbers and we're seeing whole number frequencies. Um, so this second row just tells us how many of each of those there are. If you want to use Staplet, that will work really well. And the fact that we're finding the median, I think Staplet is the best choice for 38. So what you'll do is go in and list all of the data with the repeats. So I'm going to have to list two zeros, three ones, a two, four threes, and four fives, and actually no fours. One quantitative variable single group. Once I have all my data uh, entered in with commas or spaces, I can visualize it, and then I can get my stats. So a mean of 2.643 and a median of 3. The other way we could think about the median is once I have them listed, um, just look for which one's in the middle. And I think here we have two threes in the middle. Um, so that gives us a median of three. Now when we move up to uh, problems that are more complicated, that method might not work as well. Like here, I wouldn't want to list 45 of the same score. So now is when you really want to go in and do something like a spreadsheet. Um, you can access this full spreadsheet. Um, there's a couple links in the notes. One of them's right here towards the top of this section. Um, but I'm going to do it without, and I think you should too. Um, all we need is this last um, single function once we get our table. We won't even need this subtotal column. So it's pretty easy to do. Just start with a blank sheet. Create a column for X and a column for F. You will notice sometimes people do this as rows. I think it's better to do it as columns. Um, why don't I just use these, these data points, though, as a test subject, see if we got the right answer, since we already did 38. So my scores are going to go from 0 to 5 for this problem. Those will be my x's. I'm just typing them in. And typing in the frequencies that are 2, 3, 1, 4, 0, 4. So you can do it with your numbers or mine. Um, if you do it with my numbers, you'll know if you've done it right. You'll get the same answer as me. The function we're going to use is uh, average dot weighted. And then the first input is the values. Those are in column A. So I'm just clicking A, comma, and then the weights are in B. So you can type it in or you can use the clicking. It's 2.643 if you round it off. And that is that same answer that I got there. So now that it's set up, you know, you might want to label this somehow. I'm going to scoot that over and just put mean here. Now you can change this to any data set you like. Uh, make sure you delete out old data. Um, it'll give you an error until you put the new data in there. For my next problem, I have 45 students. That's a frequency and 88.5 as a score. And for the other group, um, 65.8 is the score, 21 students. And to figure out which one's which, um, your x is always going to be some kind of measurement. It's going to be um, a grade or a score or a, 
um, number of things or a height, things like that. Um, frequency or weight. Frequency is the number of times that it was observed. Um, and if it's a weight, it's just your relative scale. So those could be weights as percentage of the grades. Think of like a recipe. If you have like a two to one ratio, those would be weights as well. Um, but you can see that I automatically get my answer for this problem, about 20 or about 81.3. Um, and then on the next problem, same thing, just enter them in. Here, um, earned average, those are the grades, those are the X's. Um, and the weight here, just to double check, the weight should add to 100% if we have all the percentages in, and we do. So 80, 94, 95 for that one. And then the weights are 70, 25, 5. And this is how the grades are calculated for the class. These are percentages. You don't need to put them in as percentages. Um, for the weight or frequency, you, you know, you just need to stay consistent. Same with X, stay consistent.